What's up everyone? All right guys, so we are going to be planting these seeds. They are um, sweet peppers, yellow, orange, and red. We do have them right here. I'm going to be planting them in just a little while. So I'll see you in the backyard in the dirt. What's up guys? Today I'm going to be propagating some, oh, actually I'm just going to be planting some seeds. Um, I have orange sweet peppers. These are from peppers that I bought in the market, so we'll see how they grow. Yellow sweet peppers. There was very few yellow ones. Um, I have the red sweet peppers. Uh, we put these on our pizza the other night. They were so good. Uh, let's see what else I got. Oh, I want to put these right in the ground. Honeydew seeds. This was a honeydew that I bought at Publix, and let me tell you something, that honeydew was so delicious. I want to, um, I want to plant these straight in the ground. And these here, I think they're, um, I can't think, I think they are, um, lilies. I think it's lily bulbs. I can actually see it looks like they're kind of growing in the, th in the container. Anyways. Today I'm going to use, I'm going to do a different method. Um, instead of buying the little cups that you use, I've seen this on TikTok, so this isn't my idea. You take the toilet paper rolls. So I've been collecting toilet paper, toilet paper rolls. You take them and you cut them in half. And then there's your little cup. You fill it with dirt. And um, and there there you go. You can you put the lid on. I got a bunch of these this here. A bunch of these. This is the lid to this one. I have this one here. It's like a little greenhouse. This is something that came with our food. You guys could have your own little greenhouses from all of the things that come with your food. Um, and then I have this really big one. Um, Tyler's birthday cake came out. So there's the greenhouse. All you have to do is poke a few holes in the top. But like this one here, it's got holes all the way around it. Won't have to put no holes in this one. And this one here. Yeah, I'll probably have to put a few holes in this one. So. I want to do the um, the peppers, so let's get started on the peppers. I do have nine containers for me, and then Henriette got nine containers for herself to take home. So she's gonna do, she's gonna try to do. She's not here, but she's gonna try to do tomatoes and peppers at her house also. Um, so I'm gonna propagate some in this little greenhouse for both of us. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take these things and we're gonna cut them in half. So that's going to be a little time consuming. All right, so I got them all cut up into small little things. And what you do is you just take the small thing and you, you line up your pan. So we'll just line up the pan. I have more in the house if I need to get them. We're going to line up the pan. I'm going to do a little bit of every, like I said, I'm going to do some peppers for Henriette and myself. And then you fill this, your little things up with um, dirt, which I have right down here in my bucket. And then you put your lid on, you, have, you sprinkle water on it, and you got your greenhouse. Let me see how many more I can fit in there. Probably fit three more. One more. All right. So I got three, six, nine, twelve, eighteen of them. Eighteen of them. In here. And then here's the lid that already has the holes all the way around. And there's my greenhouse. You guys can do this too. Um, I don't remember what came in this in this container. I can't remember at all. But start saving your containers because you can use them as greenhouses. And if you don't use them. One of your friends that does plant and propagate stuff will use them. All right, so we're going to fill that with dirt. Oops, I don't have a, a scoop. I don't have a scoop. This dirt here is already mixed with, um, with, um, perlite and, um, soil good soil it's ready to go so we're just going to pour it in you guys are probably missing all this hopefully you can see this tape just going to pour it in the, in the little thing 
and whatever you get on the outside once you pull these out to plant them it won't matter you'll, you'll still have your dirt all right what i'll probably do is i'll probably put the seeds in now this is what it looks like hopefully you guys are seeing that usually it's better with the light behind me um but that direction is such a mess i didn't want that to be my background and this direction over here is our work table but Haley has got it covered with stuff so I'm gonna put I won't know which seeds I have to go get a marker and I have to mark which ones I'm going to do maybe I'll just do these all maybe I'll just do these all yellow let me go ahead and do the other container or not, I don't have enough yellow to do them all yellow let me do this container so that I can um I'll do this container only yellow so we'll just put these in there might have to run in and get some more. Yeah, definitely. De definitely have to run in and get some more. I've been saving these for a while, guys. <laughs> Save your toilet paper rolls. If this works. It might work. It's worth a try, anyways. Come on. Yep, I gotta go get some more. Just a couple more. Right back. Alright, everyone. So, I got some more. <laughs> I just gotta cut them in half. See how many more I'm gonna need for this. I got a bag to put the extras in. So we can repurpose. And these, you can plant these right in the dirt. So when I go to plant them, if, as long as they don't fall out of the, um, you know, the plant doesn't fall out of the middle, it showed the person with the dirt packed in there, it showed them squeezing it and, and carrying it and planting this whole thing into the big pot. So we'll see how that works. All right. I got this full. I don't know where to go with it. So this one's full. And if you look, this one's going to be fine. You just have to push it over a little bit so that you can close it. You just got to push the, the, the things underneath so that it will close. There we go. Let's see there. Hopefully, hopefully this turns out. All right, so I got to fill this up with some dirt. Remember to press it in a little bit. And remember, this is my first time, so stick around and come back and see how it turns out. It's my first time propagating like this. Usually I buy them little cups, and then I just plant the little cups. Sometimes I don't plant the cups. Sometimes I just pull the plant out and I repurpose the cup and use it again. All right, guys. So I'm going to close it just so I can shake some of that dirt around. And there it is. Um, there's only one problem with this one. This one's not going to work because it, um, there's no growing room. I would have to cut them things way smaller. There's no growing room in this one. So some of them, you know, maybe if I just put the um, seedlings in the container, um, I want to see if I could pick it up. Look, you can pick it up and the dirt's still there. I'm either going to have to cut these smaller or, um, just plant right in the, right in the container. Because this one, look, you can pick them completely up. This one's just not going to work. It's not deep enough. Luckily, the other one's deeper. See? We learn. We live and learn. I can probably make these smaller if I wanted to. I might just use... I might just put these... Um, I don't know. What do you guys think? <laughs> Should I try to make the toilet paper thing smaller? I could cut them in half and then they're real small though. I think I'm just gonna grow inside the um, container. But the other ones definitely are definitely working. So here's the container. I'm making a mess. Some of the dirt back. 
don't want to waste my dirt. Dirt's not cheap. It's expensive when you buy the good stuff. Now, if I if I plant in the container with the dirt there, it does have growing room. It doesn't have a lot, so it's not going to last. You know, I'm going to be able to get the seedlings started, and then I'm going to have to pop them out of here. So let me see if, if, if it would be worth cutting this in half. I would have less dirt. It would be smaller. Um, okay, I'm dumping this out. Dumping that back in the container. It would be less dirt, be smaller, and it would be easier to pull out. Let's try it that way, guys. All right, so now we have them in here smaller. They're definitely smaller. I'll try it this way. Don't waste as much dirt doing it over top of the container. I mean, it might work out, guys. Might not. Who knows? Oh, almost lost it. All right, there we go. So the yellow ones are going in here, guys. I gotta make sure the container is gonna close. See, it'll close. It'll be perfect, guys. And if I can't pull those things out, well, then I'll just pull the the, um, the seed out. I want to put. I would like to put at least two per pot. The pots are pretty big. I'm gonna show you. Here's the pots, and um, they're about two and a half gallon pots. I want to put at least two in a pot. I think last year I did three. I don't want them to strangle each other, so I'm only going to do two this time. And I'll take you guys out and show you the garden, too. Um, I watered everything. I brought the, um, I know you can't see them right here, but I brought the um, squash up here. I'm going to show you what I got here after the video. Okay. All right. So, yellow seeds, since there's not very many yellow, <laughs> I guess it don't matter, I got 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, I got 15 in here, there might be 15 yellow seeds, who knows, alright, I gotta make some little holes, alright, so here we go, now remember these came right out of the um, peppers, I'll let them dry, Oops, I got two in that one. Oh, I got two in that one too. Dang it. I was trying to just put one per spot. But I could always pluck the, um, pluck one of them. Oh, there is a lot. I guess I, I didn't realize there was. There's a lot more red ones than there is yellow ones. Dang, I keep dropping too many in the hole. That's okay. All right, guys, I still have some. These are yellow. I got them in every one of the holes. Now, I need to spray it. I need to um, cover it over. And I need to just spray it with, like, a spray bottle. Because it's got no drainage in the bottom. So I'm just going to get them, get them um, damp at the top and spray them with the sprayer. Now, my peppers out back, they love water. They could drown in water, and they, they, they do so good. I still had peppers from last year. I just finally, I think I got one left. I finally plucked them because it, I'm still getting peppers on it. Why should I throw it away if I'm still getting peppers? All right, so there's the yellow ones. I haven't watered them yet. I'm going to move them over here. Now... Am I going to put some in here is what I'm wondering. I can't. Oops. Throwing it away. i got to pull my hair up, man. It's so hot. Oh, it's really hot. My hair is drenched underneath. And the pool had an issue, so I, um, I had to treat it. It had allergy in it. So I can't even go jump in the pool. 
All right, so all these extras we had from the other time we were going to use them. I'm still going to do the cutting in half. And we're going to put some in this. Now this is a little deeper, so we'll be able to leave them longer. Maybe I should have put the yellow in here, but it's too late. We'll put the orange in here. And then I'll put them out by the pool and we'll keep an eye on them until they sprout and then I'll then I'll post this video maybe I don't know we'll see it might be too long we might just have to keep an eye on them over the next few videos All right. probably get one more in here I think if the, I'm gonna continue to save the the rolls just because it looks like it's working. Okay. Put no bug calls in here. <laughs> I'll actually put them down in the dirt. But I need some dirt. This is going to be a lot less mess because um, we've got lots more room in here. Well, this has got a flat lid, so we don't have that much extra room. But we do have extra room. Since I pushed it down, I'm going to put the seed in, then I'm going to put dirt on top of it. Then the seeds will be a little bit, they'll be a little bit deep, not real deep. But they'll be deeper than, than normal. Okay, so what are we using? We're going to use the orange. Oh, orange is the one I didn't have very many. It wasn't yellow. Darn it. I thought it was yellow, so I think, I don't know. Uh, what do I have? I have two, let's see, one, two, four, there's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I have fifteen of them. One, two, let's see, start there. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, three, six, nine, twelve, fourteen, fifteen. Um, Dang. All right, well, we're going to do them in this thing here. These are the yellow, or the orange. There's 15 of them. So I'm going to have to make sure I just do one per container. Just one. So when you buy peppers and stuff at the store, save all your seeds. Lay them on a paper towel and let them dry and then put them in a container and mark them. You can grow your own in a container. You don't even have to have a whole garden. You can just grow in a container. And then you won't be buying, buying um, peppers next year. All right, so I have like three, four more. I might have got two in one. Dang it. One, two. Yep. That's it. Three, four. All right, I'm not putting anything in the other. I think there's two more. I'm not putting anything in the other two. 
but um, I do need the orange sticker up of here because I want to put the orange sticker on on this right here or on the side of this. Yep. Orange sweet peppers. I gotta put a little bit of dirt over top of it. I'm just going to push it down. And remember, I'm going to, um, all I'm going to do is spray this, spritz it. I'm going to spritz it like every day. Hopefully, it doesn't rain. I might leave it out on the table. It might not get a whole lot of direct sun, but it'll get sun from this direction. Um, so this has got to be washed, or washed. This has got to be um, sprayed. So this one is the orange. The other one was what color? And I still have some in the container. Yellow. So I'll have to put a label on there saying yellow. And then the last one is going to be red. There's lots of red. I think red was more popular than anything. And remember, it looks like I'm doing a lot, but um, I'm putting two per pot, plus I'm sharing them with Henriette. But I'm only putting one seed, unless I drop two. I dropped two there. Shit. I'm lying. I'm putting two. I'm trying to only put one, but I keep getting two. That way we have one plant and I don't have to pull one away and throw it away. Because that's that's what you have to do. If you can't use it, you lose it. So two more. Lots of lots of um, red peppers. Some of them's got a couple in it. I bought those greenhouse domes and they don't fit over top of these pots. These are free pots. So these are pots that I got from like the cemetery. Um, and when I seen them planting plants at Walmart, I said, hey, what are you doing with the pots? They said, throwing them away. So I got those pots. Um, so you don't even have to buy pots. You can, get, you can get them for free. If you see somebody planting something with big pots, ask them for it. The chances are they're going to give it to you. Okay. So a little bit of dirt over top of them. We'll see what comes up. Um, make sure you have holes in, in your containers. Your, your containers will um, they will do better with holes. So you need to make sure you have holes. It gives it humidity. So these are all peppers that we planted today. All peppers. Okay. So I got to spray that one too. Let's cover this lid up. Um, maybe I won't leave the toilet for the way. Hey guys. So this one is done. This is the red ones. Um, I didn't bring the thing out to um, spray them yet. But these are all done. I was going to take you guys out into the yard and show you some of my plants out there. This one's got a snap lid. So it's, oh, this isn't going to, this isn't going to be very good. I probably should have cut them down more. I'll probably just have to take the lid off and let them grow like this. But they'll be in by the pool area. Because if you look, they have enough room to pretty much sprout. And then I'm going to need to, yeah, you can't see me. Anyways, then I'm going to need to um, just take the lid off. Anyways, you want to go out and see the plants. Let's go. All right, guys. I put the squash up here. I got these little, this is the four corners of somebody's um, gazebo they gave me. So I could grow the squash up, the tra up this trellis. This one's falling over. I even have him, uh, like... Oh, I gotta set you guys up. I don't know what you're gonna see, but um, I gotta try to fix him.
on my guinea muff here. It's like that, maybe. I got some of these little, um, these little clips from the Dollar Tree. So we'll get him like that. I did water him. I don't know. I don't know how they're going to do. They get a little bit more sun here. I wasn't thinking about that. I was thinking that, oh, they'll be up here in the shade. They don't get any morning sun. Except for because we have this tree. So they don't get the morning sun, but they get the hot, scorching afternoon sun. But back there, they get shade in the afternoon. So I may have to put them back there again. Anyways, let's go back and see. I got you guys on a gigantic tripod. I put some more stuff in there. If you guys notice the, um, the mother-in-law's tongue or whatever they're called that Thomas gave me, I had plucked them all up to put that stuff down and they're coming back. So they're coming back in the back. I think these three plants here, I bought them, but I think I'm gonna plant them in there. I'm not sure. I'm not sure at all. I know I'm done buying plants. I know I said that before. It's funny, I'll say that and then I'll go come home with plants. Um, in here, look at the, look at the fern. The staghorn fern is doing really good compared to, you know, how it was doing in the winter. God, you guys can't see it very good. There we go. And um, this right here is my Monstera. Haley said it'll never live outside. It's still alive this year. So we'll see. I got elephant ears everywhere, guys. I bought elephant ear bulbs. I bought them. They were five bulbs in a package for a dollar. They were on clearance. So I'm going to have elephant ears everywhere next year. Um, I might even put a couple in here. I'm not sure. Maybe in this top corner right there. I don't know. I want to plant those maybe outside by the, out front by the mailbox or maybe not. Maybe I'll just leave them there. I'm indecisive. I don't know what I'm doing. Anyways, these purple things are going crazy. I need to pluck some and repot some more somewhere else. I think I'm going to put some of them over in that corner. I planted like six elephant ears over there in that corner. And I planted elephant ears all the way down the fence. Might put some of them purple things over there. But out here is my, what I have in the garden so far. This right here is, um, I believe it's a, it's a um, pepper plant. So it's just still sitting there. But look at that pepper plant. Still, That was last year's. It's still producing peppers. This right here is new. And I'm looking at it and I'm, I'm thinking it looks like weeds. But it might be a weed. It might not even. You know, now that I look at it more. Yeah, I think this is a weed. I think this whole piece is a weed. It is. Look, guys. The other day I'm like, what is that? Look at that. That was a weed. There's my pepper plant. I thought that, I thought, wow, what, what is that? And now I'm looking at it, it's definitely a weed. We got weeds coming up in between them all. But yeah, this is one of my pepper plants. And I think it's the sweet banana peppers. Like the, oh, sorry. Like the regular sweet banana peppers, the yellow ones. So these are all peppers. Look, there's the one blooming. And um, these are all my, this year's tomatoes. I'm going to start some new tomatoes, but not yet. This year, that those all, let's see, we got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I got nine from this year that are going to be produ producing tomatoes very soon. And they're the Abe Lincoln tomatoes, I'm pretty sure. Um, and all up in here, I got one of those augers. I don't know if you guys know what it is, but you can make holes in the ground real easy with it. You put it on your drill. I want to... Um, get up in here and plant all the melon seeds. I did plant corn stalks, but I don't think, I think maybe one or two is coming up right in there, unless that's leaves, um, or grass. I didn't plant them down in here, so all this is grass. It all needs to be pulled. I need to get some more mulch, and I'm not getting mulch colored. I'm getting cypress mulch. That stuff, I love that stuff. I'm going to put it, when I can afford to, I'm going to put it everywhere, all the way around. And I'm going to put it around the pool and around there. So, just from here all the way to the end, it's 20 bags, guys. Well, from here, 20 bags. So that means, um, 
I'm trying to look and see. That flower bed's a little bit bigger. If I don't do in here, which I don't have to, because that's just a garden. If I do back here and across the back, it's probably going to be another 20 bags. This, this garden's a lot smaller, though. Probably another 20 bags. And then if we go to go around the pool, I'm not taking the black stuff up. Go around the tree. Golly, it's going to be a lot of bags. Probably 10 or 12 for just around the tree. And then all the way around. Now if you go up the side, this side's small. This back is big and up the other side's big. So, um, yeah, I'm probably looking at 100 probably a hundred bags of mulch at and, and I know it, it was 279 a bag now it's 250 a bag I was hoping that it would go on sale cheaper for like Memorial Day but it didn't um, I don't know anyways that's stuff for the greenhouse I need to get started on the greenhouse I have everything to start the greenhouse I have the 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 wood I have the windows. I don't know if you guys can see the windows way up there. I might have already showed them to you. Um, it won't be perfect. Let me see if I can zoom in. See the windows? I got them free on the side of the road. Well, actually off the marketplace. On the side of someone's house. One of them I got off. That little teeny one was off the side of the road. Anyways. Um, the yard's looking good. I just wish... I wish I had more mulch. And, um... I definitely have so much here that I could propagate that I don't need to buy any more flowers or no more plants. I have so much here that I could propagate. This right here we got from the side of Henriette's house and it's one of those shampoo bars. I think Thomas brought me one too but I'm not sure if this is the one I got from her house. I think it is and I think one of them that Thomas gave me is over there in a um, container. I don't remember. These might be the ones Thomas gave me. I don't know. Anyways, you see my little garden piece, the little mailbox, the tractor mailbox? I thought it was cute. I thought it was real cute. Anyways, back there I have the banana plants um, coming up. I have the purple things. Now these purple things came from the motor lodge. You guys remember when I went to the motor lodge and they had these? I took a couple clippings and made two baskets. So these are the haunted motor lodge. That one there. And the one down there at the end. Um, I did plant some bulbs in here where you see all the, the green silver, silverware, the green utensils. Um, but nothing's coming up yet. This here I got from Henriette's house. I got so many baskets of this stuff. And then more banana trees. And then over here, oh, all that stuff. I want to get started. All Everything's free. Except for the screws are not going to be free. Um, I'm trying to think. Yeah, the screws and my energy and my time and my saw, my, you know, when I saw the wood and my electricity. That's the only part that's not going to be free. Over here, oh my goodness. This was just a dump. I just dumped stuff over here all the time. Now look, I got a baby banana, a baby elephant ear growing. And then that... That was that tall thing that Heather Sheldon got me. It kind of died back, but look, babies are coming up. Look, Heather Sheldon, babies are coming up. I planted elephant ear there, one here, over here, up there, right here. Hopefully it'll grow and cover that hole. I planted them. You'll see them. Look, this is one I just planted. It's coming up. Um, this is, I put these things. I want to get some more. They're cute. There's one coming up there. I planted them all the way down the fence all the way down so I'll have this whole side of the fence will be covered in elephant ears one day maybe not this year maybe next year and see how big this is I never planted anything across the back ever because every time you dig holes over, through the black stuff you get more weeds we hardly ever get weeds on this side hardly ever I get weeds across the back and weeds up the other side so um yeah but I want to I want to do this in that cypress mulch too it's going to take a lot, a whole lot. And I'd like to, Tyler said something about we should, we should make some kind of flower thing because now I can't get up in there. Um, he was weed whacking and almost weed whacked one of the plants down. 
so I need to put some black stuff over there. The cardboard, guys, I think is garbage. I did it on the other side, and all of a sudden, you know, it got wet a few times. The cardboard's gone. It ain't going to stop no weeds from coming through. I mean, the black stuff sometimes don't work worth shit, but at least it helps a little bit. I'm going to have to do the weed whacking over here because I know where everything is. And then I'm going to have to put some black stuff down and make a small flower bed all the way across the fence. And um, if they ever go to take that fence down, because that up there is mine, but this piece back here is all the neighbor's fence. So if they ever go to take it down, I'm going to have to get my lights off of there and um, they'll probably trample my flowers. I don't know. Anyways, there's my rose bush from Thomas. I got to come out here and trim it up. Um, I haven't really, I've been watering everything, but I haven't really been you know trimming it the way it should be I want to trim it back I got to look it up and see when to trim it back but I want to trim it back in the um in the late summer that away it won't be so bulky and leggy if, if you see what I'm talking about this is like to me this is leggy I think that should come off um that piece over there is leggy this piece right here it gets a flower but it's kind of leggy I think I should just take some of them legs off there's my other rose bush. I ordered, guys, I ordered. <laughs> I ordered a little handheld chainsaw. It's only a six inch blade and it goes off a battery, but like some of this could be cut, cut back. I don't know, just a suggestion. Anyways, I ordered it because it said it can cut through like three to four inch um, pieces of wood and this tree has got to go some of this tree I, even if I can get up there and just get the small pieces down is dead that whole half is dead this half is good but that half is dead so it definitely needs some help anyways that's about everything except for the banana plants up here well we have plants up here too I got all this stuff hanging in the in the um, in the pool area I don't know what you can see those are petunias and they look awful the petunias are, are just, they're looking terrible. All that money, and they're looking terrible. Look at these on my feet. Remember I planted them? I made you guys a video. I'm going to have to cut all that dead off and start over with what's growing back. This thing here, I can't remember. It wasn't a petunia, but it didn't even last at all. This here is, um, it, it's going to have really pretty flowers. Really pretty flowers. I got it from somebody over by Henriette's house. This here is the devil's backbone I got from the next door neighbor. This is part of um, the same thing as part of this. And we got some, they're, they're like elephant ears, but they're not. And then these, Henriette got me these for, for Mother's Day. It was like the whole pot and already had stuff growing in it. It's gonna be black elephant ears. I spent $10 on a black elephant ear. She said these were all on sale for $5. $5 each. So, um, we'll wait and see what all comes up in there. Look at this. This is, um, I bought these bulbs last year for, um, it was the one clearance for $1.25 for 10 of them. I have them all over the yard, too. This, these right here are for my, um, vegetables that we just planted and I have a couple more of these but nothing's growing in them because I went back and grabbed some too but these don't have anything growing in them anyways I watered everything this thing here was completely dead earlier it looked awful look at see the petunias I moved these over oh oh something's on my foot I moved them over here because they get less sun thinking they would be better but they're still looking a little shabby what do you guys think? Really shabby. I'm going to have to take them down and sort through them. Here. Look at those. Isn't aren't they pretty? And I love the big, the big banana tree. It's the only one that lived. We dug them up in, in the wild. And this looks good. My um, witchy woo-woo tree came back. It's a roselle. I'm pretty sure it's a roselle. Has beautiful, beautiful flowers. Only one of them came back. They both died in the... Um, in the um, winter when we had those 27 degree nights. I had it down here, but um, this is another one of those trumpet. It's a trumpet, it has pretty trumpet flowers. So we'll see how, the same thing that's in the, the container up there. 
we'll see how that turns out. And this here is my Texas sage. And I'm planning for this to grow over the fence. Hopefully. I mean, should have just planted it all the way down. I should have got more. I think that's all they had. They were both on clearance. But, um, I need like a, a hedge wall over the fence. Anyways, that's about it. Besides the stuff in the pool area. And it's all doing okay. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will keep you guys posted on how the, um, the peppers are doing. And um, yeah, it'll probably be on another video, but I'll keep you guys posted. Peace, guys.